The former UKIP leader, Neil Hamilton, has just gone on the record as saying, I think we should send every single illegal immigrant to Britain over to Newry or somewhere like that so that they can walk across the border and seek sanctuary. My word, that's a heavy-handed statement. This makes me wonder if immigration is not some type of moral, compassionate project that all we Europeans are engaging in, but instead, immigration may be a tool of warfare utilized by bad actors and states to get vengeance upon people they don't like. This UKIP member from the UK is saying that he wants to do this to the Irish because the Irish had some petty problem with him during Brexit. It's all about the border in the north. So he's going to use brown people to punish us. Now, I thought brown people were these poor people from war zones that need to be embraced and taken in with open arms. And they're all individuals and they all have their own destinies and their own lives. But this man sees them as a military division, as a legion, as a barrel of ammunition that he can use to enact his vengeance upon the Irish. Now you might say, Steph, this is your Irish blood talking, you're just mad at the English as usual, but I actually have receipts on this. You see, lots of states and bad actors utilize immigration in exactly this way, as if it's a weapon of warfare. Take for example, the Russians, who are currently at war. At war in the East. And up on the top of Russia is Finland, which is one of their primary borders and a country they've always had problems with. Even in World War II, the Finns were a big problem. Now, in 2023, you can imagine the Russians were thinking, we don't want any problems from those Finns up north. So they began to do something to destable them. This is me reading from an article. Finland is closing all crossings on the Russian border after accusing Moscow of deliberately helping migrants into the country. Around 900 asylum seekers entered Finland from Russia in November, up from fewer than one a day on average. They come from countries including Morocco, Pakistan, and Syria. Finland is determined to put an end to these crossings, says the Prime Minister. The government says Russia is channeling asylum seekers towards Finland in what it calls an influence operation and a hybrid attack. And it has responded by progressively closing more and more border I have a feeling that in this situation, Vladimir Putin didn't care too much about brown people either. And another example of this comes from an active war zone in Israel. Europe has had this big issue where there's been a lot of pro-Palestinian sentiment in Europe. There's been lots of huge anti-Zionist protests and lots of sentiment among the European elite that, you know, this war should not be prosecuted on Israel's behalf. And of course, understandably, if you're Israeli, why would you want this? You wouldn't want to punish people who take this attitude where you're not allowed to defend your nation. So Israel has suggested, very slyly, that the compassionate Europeans, places like Ireland as well, you know, who love Palestine so much, well, what they should do is they should take in all the Palestinians. What Israel will do is get them out of Gaza and send them to you Europeans. If you love them so much, why don't you just take them all? Take all two million of them. We get confirmation of this from Haratz, where we read that both the coalition and opposition in Israel said transferring tens of thousands of Gazans to Europe is a moral imperative and an opportunity to demonstrate compassion towards the people of Gaza. And the far-right ministers were quick to express their support. Now, I have a feeling that the Israelis are not suggesting this because they have an enormous amount of compassion for brown people. Now, I'm saying all this because it's important to become savvy to the nature of modern warfare. This is psychological warfare combined with hybrid or fifth dimensional warfare, as you heard the Finns mention, which means that I'm no longer in the 21st century going to run up and get loads of tanks and show up in your country and be like, I'm here to fight you guys. Come on out and let's fight together. Now, nowadays, the way warfare happens is that you want to destabilize your enemy, psyop your enemy, confuse your enemy, ruin their brains. You want to go all Sun Tzu, Art of War on them before you actually fight them openly. And so in practice, if a bad actor or a state has a problem with somebody, they're going to do many things to try to destabilize that opposition. They will screw with their economy. They will put sanctions on them. Famously, the Europeans did this to the Russians. They will send in large amounts of migrants that the 
population are going to have to take on board and use their taxes to pay for them. God, it's awful when you think about it. Does anybody out here have compassion for the brown people? Are brown people just these little pawns that we move around on the chessboard as we try to attack our enemies? I think it would be fantastic for people in the West if they wised up and realised that this is how these guys who are calling the shots actually view these situations. It's not some compassionate decision. It's not some project of love. It's not somebody singing Kumbaya. These guys are running massive state operations and they have their geopolitical enemies and their goals and these plans to transform the world in ways that they see fit to suit themselves. They see all these brown people as really useful tools in this project. They only want you to be compassionate and to be empathetic. This could not work unless their enemies had a problem with compassion and with empathy. How would the Russians pump Muslims into Finland unless the Finns had this quandary, this moral conundrum inside of their head saying, is it wrong or right to do this? Surely I have to be a good person here and just open up this border and let all these Russian agents in that are getting sent to my border. This is what they need to play on. You being a dummy who thinks that it rains pink flowers outside all day and the world is made of pillows. In the highly competitive world of states and global actors, they have realized that exploiting that very moral instinct inside of you is a great way for them to achieve their goals. And at that level, being nice and being fair and being honest doesn't matter at all. It's all about winning.